Hey guys, Poverty Point Customs here. Just a little uh, quick review on my Husqvarna snowblower. It's the model 10530, which means 10 and a half horsepower, and it's got the 30 inch cut. I've had this for approximately 10 years. Works great. My only complaint is that the first of season, after it's sat for seven or eight months, it's a little bit of a bugger to get going. I always use the electric start and it always starts uh, first press of the button. However, if you pull start it, you're going to be pulling it for uh, pull starting it about 20 or 30 times to get it going. Just a little uh, pick of the control panel. It's your forward and reverse, your speeds. Uh, the little green handles there Right there, one on each side. That's for your power steering, so it disengages the uh, wheels. Makes it a lot easier to turn. It's a great option. That's for adjusting your uh, throw angle, and that's your shoot direction. That's your shoot right there. One thing I always do every year is I always uh, rush check it, and I always put a coat of wax on it. Obviously with these things here, they're in the uh, worst conditions with uh, salt and snow and a lot of times they go uh, back in the garage uh, wet and uh, salty. I have a gravel driveway. As you can notice in my uh, chute there, it's a little uh, chipped up but not rusted. Uh, again, what I do is I always spray it with rust check. Eventually I'll uh, go to the Husqvarna dealership and get a can of color match paint from them and uh, repaint it. It's inside the chute. Again, as you can see, it's a little uh, marked up there, but again, there's no rust whatsoever in it. So, uh, like I said, I always uh, spray rust checking it all the time. It's a cheap preventive maintenance. Again, I always change the oil. I usually use uh, Quaker State 10W30, just regular automotive oil, and I change it uh, every season. It's your gas tank. It's for cleaning out your uh, auger area and chute. It's a little toolbox right there. It has some uh, tools and some spare, spare uh, shear pins inside it. Let's give it a start. Again, I've had it for roughly 10 years and uh, Knock on wood, so far no issues. That's where you plug in the electric start. Again, it's also got the uh, pole start there. I'm just gonna flick up the throttle. And that's your start button right here. This has the 10 and a half horsepower Tecumseh motor, and uh, again, so far I haven't had any issues. Uh, like my tractor, I've done a couple videos on it, and it has a Tecumseh 24 horsepower, and that leaks a little bit of oil around the heads. Again, just a quick video on it. Uh, the reason I got it out today is uh, on Christmas. It's December 24th today, December 25th. We're supposed to get approximately 30 centimeters of snow. And uh, just in case my uh, tractor with a little plow on it can't keep up, then this is uh, in standby. But most times I try to use my tractor because I can sit on it rather than having to uh, stand and uh, push it. It's a little easier. And uh, my tractor is a cup holder for my coffee. Okay, just a short video. If you have any questions, uh, certainly uh, put them in the comments section and I'll uh, do my best to get back to you right away.